Hey, what's up guys? Philip here bringing you another review. And today we're gonna be checking out the Skylong GK61 mechanical keyboard. So the box does say Skylong on it, but it's not only from a company called Skylong, it's also from a company called Epo Maker. And you can see that on the Amazon page for this keyboard. So the story with that is both of these companies decided to partner up and they're in the process of forming their partnership. So if you see Epo Maker or Skylong, it's pretty much the same company. So regardless of the company name, the keyboard does have some pretty nice features, especially considering the price point. And as of making this video, the keyboard does go for $65. And with that being said, let's kick this review off by checking out what was included in the box. So in the box, you're gonna receive the keyboard, of course, a braided USB-C to regular USB-A cable that gives you the ability to charge the keyboard as well as connect to your computer and use it via the wire. Additional keycaps that can convert this keyboard into a Mac version, two keycap pullers, which allow you to customize this keyboard to your liking, and an instruction manual that will show you how to use the lights as well as some of the shortcut features that the keyboard has built in. Now I do have the black version of this keyboard, but it does come with a few different color options and you can get it in the pink version or the gray version. And along with the colors, you can also get black, blue, red, or brown Gatoron key switches so that you can really customize this thing to your liking. And the keyboard I have on me here is gonna be using the brown key switches. Now my first impressions with this keyboard was that I really liked the small scale footprint size of this thing. And if you compare it to something like a regular keyboard with a full number pad and all that, it's gonna take up a lot more space on your desk and it's gonna be a little bit harder to use with a mouse alongside the keyboard. You can obviously use a mouse with any keyboard, but the benefit of using a mouse with a smaller keyboard like this is your hands don't have to be so spread apart. Your hands can be kind of closer together and you can get all the movements with your mouse. A little bit more on the build quality of the keyboard. The base of the keyboard here, the black part, is made of a fully plastic material that's quite durable and not bendable. And the keycaps themselves, they're made of a PBT slash ABS material. They're both kind of mixed in together. And both of these materials, they're not exactly plastic, but they feel like plastic. The benefit of using the PBT material is that they are chemical resistant as well as heat resistant. So that's gonna help out with any sweat that comes off of your fingers when using the keyboard. And if we look on the back of the keyboard, we can see that there are four rubber feet with no adjusters. So the keyboard typing experience is only gonna be able to be typed on at one angle. And speaking of typing, here's a little typing test for you guys to see what this keyboard actually sounds like using the brown gator on switches. Now I've reviewed a lot of keyboards in the past and most mechanical keyboards have a similar problem and it's that the space bar has some rattle and wobble to it. This one, ever, however, I found was still rattly but nowhere near as rattly as other keyboards. So if you're worried about a rattly spacebar, I wouldn't be worried about it on this one too much because the rattle is very subtle. Now you may be asking, what's the difference between Gatoron switches and regular mechanical key switches? And the difference is with regular mechanical key switches, when you push down on the spring, there's a little bit more force you have to apply as the spring gets tighter. But with Gatoron switches, the spring tension is always the same amount of force that you have to push down on. And with my personal experience with typing with Gatoron switches, I found that the typing experience was what much more fluid than regular mechanical key switches. So if you do have the option, I would definitely go with Gatoron switches over regular mechanical key switches. The keyboard does have RGB lights, which can be customized on the keyboard itself or using the downloadable software. And if you don't wanna download the software to get that extra kind of customization, you can just use the built-in profiles and you're gonna have nine different options that you can cycle between. And not only can you change the lights, you can also assign multiple computer computers to this keyboard using the Bluetooth wireless connection. And you can switch between computers or your phone on the fly in the click of a button. And I'd highly recommend checking out the instruction manual because there's a ton of shortcuts on how to use the functions on this keyboard. And it was a little confusing at first, but after looking at the menu, it became much more clear to me. So definitely don't throw this away if you plan on getting this keyboard. Some other things to note with this keyboard is that it is full and key rollover, which means you can mash a bunch of buttons at the same time, and they're all gonna register to your computer. Some keyboards don't have that feature because they can only press like three or four keys simultaneously. 
but this one you can literally push all 60 keys at the same time and they're gonna get registered to your computer if you're someone who likes to customize your keyboard and key switches make sure you purchase the gator on key switches because that's the type of switches that this keyboard will be using the sk61 keyboard here does have a safety feature and it's going to be water resistant and it's going to be rated at ipx6 which basically means you can spill water on it and it's not going to break down on you so definitely a huge pro there if you're kind of clumsy like i can be a little sometimes yeah looks like the lights are still on i guess it really is waterproof so there you have it so with so many keyboards out there, is this specific one worth picking up? Well, most of the name brand keyboards like Razer and Ducky, those keyboards run for $100 plus. And this thing runs for $65 as of making this video. And I would say for $65, if you look at the competition, I would say this keyboard is definitely worth picking up because you don't get regular mechanical key switches, you get the Gateron switches, which are kind of like an upgrade to the mechanical regular key switches. And obviously the compactness is really nice. The 60% layout, which is missing the number pad, is gonna be really comfortable for using your mouse and keyboard next to each other. And it's gonna give your desk a cleaner setup. So if you're interested in picking up this keyboard, I'm gonna leave a link in the, down in the description below pointing to Amazon and you can purchase it there. And with that being said, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you in the loop. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you next time.